Hello, my dear students. Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longoval. Here I am presenting the paper, Technology of Spices and Condiments. You know, the bleaching is an important step in the ginger processing. And without it, it may not appeal to the consumers. And this particular process of bleaching in the case of ginger processing will be explained to you with its merits and demerits by my co-author, Ms. Kulsum Jan. Hello students. Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Kulsum Jan from Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module number 24 of paper number 10. Technology of Spices and Condiments. In this module, we will learn about the bleaching of ginger. Dry ginger is produced from the green underground rhizomes of the plant gingerbread of Chanel. It is prepared by peeling of the outer skin and drying in the sun for about a week. The dry ginger so prepared is known as unbleached ginger. As far as the bleached ginger is concerned, the bleached ginger is produced by steeping in a solution of milk of the lime and then the drying is done. Besides India, ginger is also grown in Jamaica, Nigeria, China, Spera, Leone, Nigeria, China and Thailand. In India, ginger is predominantly grown in Kerala, Northern East, West Bengal, Orissa, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, and Himachal Pradesh. As far as the ginger is concerned, the name itself supports the view. The Sanskrit name Singebara gave rise to Greek Jingibar and later the generic name Zingibar. Ginger Zingibar of Chanel is a monocotyledon belonging to the family Zingiberaceae, to the order Zingiberates. It's a perennial herb with a large, solid, tough, horizontal rhizome consisting of a series of many pre-resistant, roundish joints, pale yellow in color with in-covered with pale, slippery brown skin, ringed with leaves, scars and each marked at the summit by a large circular flat scar. Much branched, the new joints coming off blow the terminal scars. The root is warming to the body, is slightly antiseptic and promotes internal secretions. Bleached lime ginger is widely used in Sri Lanka for preparation of Ayurvedic drugs. Ginger also has medicinal attributes and is used in many households as well as by pharmaceutical companies. But fresh ginger is available only for about five to six months and hence the demand for bleached and dry ginger is increasing. Manual and sun drying method is in vogue for dehydration since long but production is not only limited but quality is also not up to the mark. Hence, mechanically bleached and dehydrated ginger has become very popular. Restaurants, 
eateries and dhabas, clubs, caterers, food processing industry. In fact, pharmaceutical companies are the main consumers of dehydrated ginger. Ginger rhizomes are thoroughly washed to remove adhering soil. The skin is peeled partially by mechanical peeling using an abrasive peeler. The pieces are kept steeped in milk of lime solution. It's then dried in a mechanical dryer at a temperature of 60 degrees centigrade. The drying time is usually 24 hours in cross flow dryer at 60 degrees centigrade, generally for 14 hours. In thorough flow dryer, the dried ginger is packed in suitable containers. The yield of the dry ginger is about 60 to 22 percent. The quality should conform to the standards laid down by PFA Act. However, for better marketing of the product, standards may be maintained as per EGMARC and BIS specifications. Curing of ginger. Methods of curing ginger. There are different methods of curing ginger. Number one, surat method. The rhizomes are cleaned and soaked in water to facilitate the removal of skin. When the rhizomes become soft and peel easily, they are taken out of water. Skin is peeled off by bamboo knives, coir or seashells. The peeled rhizomes are washed in water and dried in sun for three to four days and are then hand rubbed. This process is repeated two to three times. To remove all the bits of the skin. Peeling should be done carefully as excessive peeling will result in the loss of essential oil which gives aromatic odor. This method of curing is slow but preserves the flavor of ginger. Malabar method the rhizomes are cleaned and soaked in water. When they become soft, they are then taken out of water. They are peeled off twice and thrice with the help of bamboo knives and coir or seashells. The peeled rhizomes are soaked in 2% lime water solution for six hours to whitewash the ginger. The whitewashed rhizomes are kept in fumigation chamber for sulfur fumigation for 12 hours. Same lime water and sulfur fumigation treatment is repeated for three times to bleach the ginger and give white color. Finally, Bleached ginger is fully dried in the sun. The dried product is known as sant. Relatively a small quantities of ginger are also converted to bleached from bleached ginger, which is produced by dipping the scrapped fresh ginger in a slurry of slaked lime followed by sun drying. As the water adhering the rhizomes dries off, they are again dipped in the slurry. The process is repeated until the rhizomes become white 
in color. Dry ginger can be also bleached by this method. Liming gives ginger a better appearance and less susceptibility to attack of insects. Pests during storage and shipping. Chloride of lime and sulfurous acid and alkali sulfide also have been suggested for bleaching ginger. Coating with chalk or plaster is also practiced to improve the color, appearance and keep away pests. Ginger is commonly grown as a culinary item. Bleach ginger is produced by steeping in a solution of milk of lime and then drying. Bleaching is not done if ginger is to be dried. However, bleaching of ginger helps in maintaining the color of the product and in other words improves the quality of product. Hence, overall acceptability of ginger is affected by bleaching. What actually bleaching expects? Number one, to get good appearance and color. It minimizes shrinkage and pest attacks and improves physical chemical quality of dried ginger. Bleaching improves the keeping quality of the dried ginger as the chemical quality of dried ginger is mainly depending on oil, oleoresin and calcium percentage. Lime concentration and soaking period are influences the oil and oleoresin content of bleached ginger. High calcium hydroxide concentration and long soaking periods improve the outer color and oleoresin content of bleached ginger. However, reduce oil content to some extent. Oil in ginger is lost during the peeling and soaking of processing of bleached ginger. Process for bleaching. For bleaching of ginger, all the raw materials is first selected by considering all the quality parameters, followed by washing of ginger, then the treated ginger is then soaked in 2% lime water for 6 hours, followed by, followed by fumigation with sulfur for 12 hours. Bleached ginger is produced by steeping in a solution of milk of lime and then drying is done. For many years, bleached spice have been a traded commodity such as ginger, cardamom, etc. And it is important that their packaging declares the bleaching, repeat, their bleaching and that the residues of any bleaching conform to international guidelines. Any processing aid must be food safe and approved for use within the country of consumption and declared to the buyer. Bleached ginger is produced by dipping scrapped fresh ginger in a slurry of slaked lime, that is calcium hydroxide. 1 kg of slaked lime by 120 kg of water, followed by sun drying as the water adhering to the rhizomes dry the ginger is again dipped in the slurry. This process is repeated until the rhizomes become uniformly white in color. Dry ginger can also be bleached 
by the similar process. Liming gives ginger a better appearance and less susceptibility to the attack of insects, pests during storage and shipping. Fresh ginger is cleaned thoroughly to remove soil and dirt. The outer skin is peeled with the help of stainless steel knife. The ginger is then washed and soaked in lime water for about 12 hours after which it is dried. The process is repeated two to three times to get dried moisture level of 10 to 12 percent. The product is then packed in polyethylene lined gunny bags. To get bleach ginger, peeled rhizomes are soaked in 2 percent lime waters for few hours, fumigated with sulfur for 12 hours. Preserved ginger has a big market over an extended period. Production process of bleached ginger involves number first fresh ginger is cleaned thoroughly to remove soil and dirt. The outer skin is peeled with the help of a stainless steel knife. The ginger is then washed and soaked in lime water for 12 hours after which it's dried by different methods like mechanical drying or maybe sun drying depending on the end use of the product. This process is repeated two to three times to get a dried moisture level of 10 to 12 percent of the final dried ginger. The product is then packed in polyethylene lined gunny bags. Storage of bleached ginger. The dry bleached ginger is packed in gunny bags. They are highly susceptible to the infestation by insects like Lesioderma cerisone that is commonly known as the great beetle during storage. Fully dried rhizomes can be stored in airtight containers such as high density polyethylene or similar packaging materials. Long term storage for more than two years would result in deterioration of its aroma, flavor and pungency. So, students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Ginger is one of the earliest known oriental spice and is being cultivated in India for both as fresh vegetable and as dried spice. Since time immemorial, ginger is obtained from the rhizomes of Jingibur of Chanel's. The ginger family is a tropical crone, especially abundant in Indo-Malaysian region, consisting of more than 1200 plant species in 53 genres. The area under cultivation in India is 107.54 thousand hectares and its total production of the country is 385.33 thousand tons. The ginger is bleached, left to dry and dehydrated for preservation. Uh, so that was all about.
the bleaching of the ginger. Thank you. Dear students, now you have seen how important this particular process of bleaching in the case of ginger is, which has been explained by my co-author. Now after bleaching of the ginger, the next step is to produce the ginger products and this particular aspect will be explained to you in the next module, ginger and its products. Thank you.